You've all heard about GMOs and the controversy surrounding them. Well, now they're introducing gene-edited foods. Have a look. Do you wish you could fry food in an oil without trans fats? Do you dream of wheat without gluten or mushrooms that won't go brown in your fridge? Scientists are working to make these food dreams a reality with the help of gene editing. In fact, trans fat free oil is already in the kitchen of a Midwest restaurant and making headlines. With a snip here or there to a plant's DNA, traits can be changed. Some are calling gene edited crops, or GECs, the next food revolution. Unlike genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, GECs do not introduce foreign DNA, they simply alter the DNA that exists. U.S. federal regulators say GECs don't need the strict regulation and years of testing required for GMOs, but the European Union ruled otherwise and is regulating these crops. Are GECs the food of the future or the next food to avoid? Now here's the deal, I don't know about you all, I'm all for progress, but I always worry when there's, there's absolutely no oversight of this. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think that's the nail on the head, is that as GMOs have gotten a lot more recognition, they are being regulated. But with the gene editing, as of now, they don't necessarily meet those same regulatory standards. They're allowed to kind of do this in a completely new, wild mm -hmm. west, unregulated space. And so the idea is that it may help confer some benefits, like in this case, they're saying it might have more shelf life, that soybean oil may have less trans fats. There are other different crops they're using this on too with gene editing, like for example, rice and canola, they're trying to create pollution resistant crops and herbicide resistant crops. So- Mushrooms that don't brown. Yeah, yeah. so there, there may be some benefit, but I think any time you have something like this where you're altering the genes of something we're going to consume, and nobody's regulating this, and nobody has really looked at the safety or how that plays out in our long-term mm -hmm. health, it could be very problematic. And the, the challenge line. is regulation, because yeah. since it is the Wild West, I'm not even sure how you would regulate something like this. Mm -hmm. And the, the progress we've made in the 11 years, the doctors, this show has been in existence, when it comes to sequencing DNA, adjusting, modifying, it's quite remarkable. And this is just the beginning of this type of story. Where I will say I think this shows a lot of promise is the earth. There's a finite amount of space and there are a lot of human beings inhabiting the earth and I do think that we need to be creative making sure that there is a large enough food supply to feed everyone in this world because look when it comes to humans our, our first need is food and shelter, right? And so I think if there is a way to use gene editing in a safe way, in a regulated way, to make sure that everyone has enough food to eat, then I'm all for it. Yeah. it, it for the time being, the way to avoid this, and again, this is just the brink, is organic food, they say, would not be allowed to contain these gene-edited elements. Correct. And I don't, truth is, do we really know? When I go to a restaurant, do, mm. do I really know if something's been modified or edited? Not really. You don't. We just and hope. I think anytime we introduce something new into society, we kind of have this, this pushback and we have this initial kind of, oh, what is it? But that's why you do the research and you, you make sure it's safe. We may look at this segment in 20 years and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was eating stuff that wasn't gene edited. You know, <laughs> that wasn't safe, but we're not there yet. So we have to do the research so that we know it's safe and it needs I to hope be regulated. I hope we never get to a place where I'm eating, <laughs> eating a tomato that's gene edited, and I say, I can't believe I used to eat real tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. You never I, know. I still think you I never used know. to eat organic tomatoes. Yeah.